Hello friends, this is M with Abnormal Mapping. Uh, we are back with Full Throttle. So, let's see, we need, we need to get in there, we need to get past the guard. We need to do something. I wish there was... Can we just keep going this way? Is there something over here? No? Okay. Pat the bunny. You know you want to. You just can't get this stuff anywhere else, folks. We have to be able to get the bunny out of the too. car. I'm practically giving this loot away. <clears throat> Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of three. All right, let's see the cash, amigo. Hallelujah. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Can I get him to look at? Doesn't he look at these things? Don't crowd everybody. Excuse me, but are those shirts uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Oh, sweet. One hundred percent cotton. Oh. That's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. Back. Back. I don't know what I'd use the bunny for, though. Oh, is there a way out? What's up? I'm not going in there. Okay. They all think I killed their beloved leader. That's right. Official Corley Motors Smashatorium Souvenirs. So... I think maybe we could put our... Anything over this way? There's no exit here. Um... Is that the way we came in, or is that the way? I'll never get back across that gorge. Wait, that was a gorge. What the hell's over here? Um... I don't walk. I need my bike. Well, oh, sorry, I clicked out. Let's go. Let's go see if we can use that bunny on the uh, empty room or whatever first. Um, bunny. The bunny won't do much there. The bunny won't do much there. Okay. I guess we're gonna keep. No, let's get on the bike. Uh, we're gonna keep going. Let's check out what's on this road. Very hidden. Ooh, this looks very mysterious. What the hell is this place? There's the vultures' hideout. On the other side of this field, oh. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. Okay, so they've got landmines. What happens mm -hmm. if we just try to no. walk across? Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. I guess I need to... I hate surprises. Yeah, I guess the bunny, right? Throwing a bunny in a minefield seems like a thing. What's that? Battery. I don't want to set off any of these boys. <sighs> well. No, oh, no. Run. Can I? Hmm. Yeah, shift doesn't help. I got the battery. Can I put that in the car, maybe?
Can I go steal the car like I did the bunny? I don't think the car would actually help me any here, but I'd give it a shot. I feel like I might need a mine detector. Um, alright. Don't go away empty handed. Come on, give me a break. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Right. Uh, we got your t-shirts. No. Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go up. I'm practically giving this loot away. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. All right. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Can we go? Okay, that's far enough, bud. Can we, like, lead this guy into the minefield, maybe? Well, it's about time. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? We got your t-shirts here. Well, we got let's see if we can just steal this. How about that first? Don't go away empty-handed. Oh, Official Corlett Motors merchandise. Lovable love... Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Yeah. Yep. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. Um, the we... officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors yes, Smash Shut up, shut up. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Yes. Oh, gosh. That's on the One hundred percent cotton. Yep. Uh, okay. Pat One more Excuse time. me, but yes, are those yes, shirts, yes. uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Yep. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium hmm. adventure. So you just can't, can't get this stuff anywhere else, folks. Can't leave the thing. Hey, don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Oh, can I take that? Am I going to use the bunnies to get through the entire thing? That would be great. Uh, yeah, let's go. We can just bunny our way through the minefield, which is a very dumb thing to do, but I like it a lot. Uh, this game is cool. Uh, all right. I, uh, I feel like this game and Grimm both have this, like, sense of, like, many of the challenges are about Minefield's been replanted. Yeah, in this big structure, vultures. Uh, which is always really weird to me. Um, it just seems very, I don't know, there's, like, a certain sense of, like, helpless bureaucracy to the whole thing that belies the kind of character you are in this game. It works much better in Grimm, in which you are, at, like, at the whims of a helpless bureaucracy. Bunnies away! Oh, this is the best. Goodbye, bunnies. In theory, they should just blow all the mines and I can walk across, right? That's Daniel Bryan music. Hmm. 
Hmm. No. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Hmm. No. Is that not the thing to do? Don't think so. Hmm. No. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Hmm. Don't understand. Hmm. No. No. Hmm. If I leave, they're gonna retidy the minefield. The problem. I just don't know. I wonder how they keep it so smooth. Hmm. We can get stuck this episode. Dang! There goes another guy. You back? Making progress slowly but surely. Okay, so let's hope they didn't actually repopulate the minefield, because that would be bad. Sure did, didn't they? Mm, no. Hmm. Set off any. All right, can we just do this a thing at a time then? Seems to be working. I hate surprises. All we need to do is make sure the bunnies outlast our uh, journey across the minefield. Kind of fiddly, but we're getting there. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Hey, we made it. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures, rack them up. Oh no. Let's rip them quick. Listen, though. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. 
Let's draw this out. <clears throat> uh, Corley and I. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Your father. I said shut up about my dad. Malcolm wants. I said shut up about my dad. Okay. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. Let me go, or else. Or else what? Um. Oh. I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Let me go, or else. Or else what? Is this the right answer? Um. I'll tear this place apart. Ironic choice of words, Ben. Let me go, or else. Or else what? I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. You put them there, remember? I'm losing my temper, Marine. Hey, you're about to lose much more. Hmm. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. <laughs> Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Huh. Mink farmer. <laughs> nope, that's not it. <clears throat> Let me go, or else... Or else what? Okay. I'll call your names. <laughs> I need to find the right oh, name. What? Diaper Dynamo? Diaper Dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders' meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> Great. That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. That's a hell of a plan. Hang on to your chili dog. Because it's time to start the Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. 
Ghost. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> uh -oh. Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pyla, Doreen Schmorley. Great. All right, boys. Sick of them. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. <laughs> Try and get away now. All right, now. Are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you uh, ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Sure. Then let the demolition derby begin. Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Okay. Can we save? Oh, we're gonna save. Alright. We're at 21 minutes, so we're gonna call this. Next time, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to win the Demolition Derby, and it'll be great. Look at that. We're getting so close to the end here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Bye.